everybody it's Jania welcome back to my channel um today we just got home from the hospital from having a baby um, daddy is now setting up um the swing same, same swing that I asked him to set up um you know a couple it weeks happened. it happened it the same uh swing that I asked him to set up a couple weeks ago but you know he's just now doing it um, the baby is right here in um, the car seat and sleeping like we just got in it. It hasn't even been a good four minutes yet. So trying to figure things out. Just thought I'd get it on camera that he's just now setting up the swing. He's going to set up the best neck and do all the things that somebody did not ask him to do. All right, so we just got home. Uh, not even a couple seconds ago. What is that? A handprint? Zara's handprint? Um, one week postpartum. Literally trying to make it work. Just thrill fourth trimester. I have an oversupply. My boobs are huge. Um, I have to wear pants above my incision, so like my underwear is above. You know, my incision, this whole part hurts. My incision is here. This whole part is like swollen and like very tender. And then my underwear is all up here so it won't irritate this area or this area. And then my pants are up this high. You see, like, it's, this might be like nipple cream. Um, what is this? Probably breast milk. Breast milk, like, you know, all these like random stains on me just has to be like milk. So one week postpartum. He's right here. We don't have anything set up on his crib yet because um, we're using it as a changing table because he doesn't like sleeping in his crib yet. Um, yeah, so this is our one week update so far. Let's see what else we can find today. It's afternoon. I had some lunch, I would say. It's, um, I ate some Trader Joe's hatch chili macaroni and cheese and uh, tamale, all from Trader Joe's. So um, I'm going to have to take you all on a like shopping with me type situation with baby when we finally leave this house like I can drive them all. But for now, that's where we are. He is here as always. Doing his thing. Uh, I should have just recorded it, but Jahan, a really good friend of mine, and another midwife at the birth center, just cleaned out my fridge. So, I have these home chef meals that um, my sister Jayla had just got delivered to me. Um, I have like some kale uh, stuff here. The chicken tacos Jahan just made with the fixings there and drinks and of course milk because you know mom life this is the box the 
meals that came in. Home chef. Um, so yeah, so, you know, Nasai is a little over a week. He'll be two weeks on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So just doing a little check-in to say that last night was, I mean, not the greatest, honestly. Last night he woke up every hour, which was super difficult because we had been getting like every two hours at the like at this point for the past like two days and then last night was every hour so every hour he woke up and it was more so like grunting and like like that like you know and whining and he's already very like noisy so to have him doing a lot of grunting and you know just using the bathroom all night and nursing and then my right nipple is like so like jacked up right now just because like the latch isn't the greatest on the right side and I have like clogged duct or whatever but I don't even think it's a duct I think it's like it's like more like a knot that's like at the bottom of my breast and clearly it has something to do with like milk but I just I know that we need to keep nursing on that side to kind of like release that and I know I need to add some like a hot like compress to it but I haven't done it because it just hurts so badly right now but we did just get like a good nursing session in before Jahan had got here and she's only been here she had only been here for maybe like an hour or so just cleaning out my fridge and just going over like my birth story and things like that so that's pretty much how things went I'm just grateful you know um Refrigerator looks nice. We got some meals in there, which I'm glad that we have them. Sai. Let's change your diaper. The green line. Papa Wheelie. Your mama always trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, give her that look. Exactly. Exactly. You need to post this. Jayla does this look too. Like. Oh. You're gonna be like Zara, a whole hot body baby. Uh huh. I guess I'm like that too, though. Uh -huh. I just can't touch another hot body person. Mm -hmm. It's too much heat. Okay, so what you see here is Ehotu doing body work on Masai and pretty much just explaining to me exactly what she's feeling. Um, Masai had been doing a lot of crying, wouldn't go to sleep, and we thought he had like colic or something, but she was doing a really nice home visit for us. So she did the craniosacral therapy. It's a form of body work or like alternative therapy using gentle touch to palpate the um, joints like in the cranium which um, w did relax him and then I also had work like this done because after this I had a postpartum massage as well so everything was in home Ihotu is awesome she is a doula and a really good friend of mine and she also happened to be my second doula during the birth of Nasai but I will say um, I really do think that this therapy did work to really calm down the colic that Nisai had. It's done so gently that it can be done while I'm holding him like this. Hello, Nisai. Just had your diaper changed. It's like, I'm a week old. I'm a week old. Look how long I am. I was six pounds, nine ounces yesterday. I know. You're not looking like you don't know what's going on. How 
I just got changed. I feel good. Oh, where's she? Oh, bless you. Hello, Miss I. Hello, baby. I'm one week today. I'm so calm after I got my diaper changed. I didn't cry for the first time ever. I've never been this calm after a diaper change. Probably gonna start making some noise shortly. Just seems like I need to, huh? Right now, right yeah. Please be a newborn. 